When the words oils and fats are mentioned, health-conscious individuals tend to run for cover. What they fail to realize is that there are good fats and bad fats. Complete avoidance of intake of oils and fats would actually be detrimental, rather than beneficial, to their health. 1. The truth about fish oil essential fatty acids must always be part of our daily diet, without them, we take one step closer to our deaths. Essential fatty acids are divided into two families, omega-6 EFAs and omega-3 EFAs. Although there are only very slight differences to distinguish the two groups of essential fatty acids from each other, studies have revealed that too much intake of omega-6 EFAs can lead to inflammation, blood clotting and tumor growth. The good news, however, is that the opposite is true for omega-3 EFAs. Omega-6 EFAs can be found in vegetable oils while omega-3 EFAs can be found in fish oils among other foods. 2. Omega-6 vs. Omega-3 Omega-3 physicians and scientists are of the same opinion that the cause behind increasing cases of heart disease, hypertension or high blood pressure, obesity, diabetes, premature aging and certain kinds of cancer is none other than an imbalanced intake of Omega-3 and Omega-6 EFAs. As mentioned earlier on, Omega-6 EFAs can be found in vegetable oils. This includes but is not limited to corn oil and soy oil, both of which contains high amounts of linoleic acid. Omega-3 EFAs on the other hand can be found also in marine plankton and walnut and flaxseed oils. It should be significant to take note that fatty fish and fish oils contain eicosapentaenoic acid EPA, and docosahexaenoic acid DHA, fatty acids that have been observed to provide many benefits to the human body. In the early 1970s, a study on Greenland Eskimos have revealed that one of the major reasons why they rarely suffer from heart diseases is because of their high-fat diet, mainly composed of fish. The two essential fatty acids, EPA and DHA, are also helpful in preventing atherosclerosis, heart attacks, depression and various forms of cancer. Fish oil supplemented food have also proven to be useful in treating illnesses like rheumatoid arthritis, diabetes, Raynaud's disease and ulcerative colitis. 3. Other benefits of fish oil There are a lot more illnesses and situations in which intake of fish oil has proven to be significantly beneficial. 4. Making the heart healthier The heart is inarguably one of the most important parts of our body and having an unhealthy heart means having to suffer a rather limited lifespan. Naturally, it's in our best interests to keep our hearts happy and healthy and one way of doing that is eating food that contains fish oil. In Athens, Greece, for instance, a study was made to show if there was a direct relationship between high fish diet and inflammation of blood vessels. The results revealed that those who ate more fish than the others had a lower level of C-reactive protein and interleukin-6, factors that are commonly used to measure likelihood of blood vessel inflammation. These benefits remained even when the various risks associated with high fish diet were taken into account. 5. Fish to become thin in Perth, Australia, a study had revealed that fish consumption can be used against hypertension and obesity. Researchers of the UWA University of Western Australia have discovered that a weight loss diet which includes a regular amount of fish consumption can be quite effective in reducing blood pressure and improving glucose tolerance. 6. Fish oil to combat asthma Asthma people suffering from respiratory problems like asthma tend to be perceived as unfit and unhealthy. They should now be pleased to learn that certain studies have revealed the benefits of fish oil for asthma-burdened individuals. Statistics show that approximately 20-25% to of children today suffer one form of asthma or another at a certain point in their lives. And certain evidence reveals a regular diet of food with high linoleic acid content as the reason behind it. Researchers of UW University of Wyoming conducted a study by subjecting a number of children to a high fish diet while others continued with their regular diet. Results revealed that the participants who ate more fish were less prone to asthma attacks and were able to breathe more easily as well. 7. Consult your nutritionist now nothing is good when consumed or used excessively but complete avoidance of a particular food type is equally harmful as well. Ask your nutritionist for the right amount of fish intake for your age and health status.